was all he could get. He brought it home, but to his surprise, the new just lay there. He was barely alive. The pet store owner knew what to do. He gave the boy a can of simple hill food. Yes, dudes, he's so humongous. Yes, dudes, very precocious. Yes, dudes, he swears on his So, I amortized the Bryant account over 10 years and saved the company almost 80 bucks. Eric, you're not telling me everything, you big wheeler dealer. What makes you say that? You can't fool me with your glamorous shop talk. We wives have an alarm that goes off when our men are doing something that makes them happy. There's no fooling you, Lamb Chop. Look what I brought home from work. Another sandwich bag full of bathroom soap? Besides that. Three tickets for the Friendly Falls Future Fair. Wow, one each. That's right. I remember the last Future Fair from my childhood. The future's so great. I can't wait to grow old. My, oh my, it was something. I have never seen anything like it. But the next year, the Future Fair judges moved the fair down the road to Steaming Weasel Hall. Then it went to Tun, Switzerland, then Wolumalu, Australia, then Plotted, Bulgaria. But this year, through some miracle, the Future Fair is back where it belongs in Friendly Falls. They've updated all the exhibits? No, Ned. Those men and women were visionaries. The future doesn't change. <laughs> Ham's a little dry. Newton! Now I've turned down your bed, given you only half the towels you need, and nailed your TV remote to the side table. <laughs> Guess what? Tomorrow we're going to the future fair. The future? Ha! Huh. What do you want to go there for? Now is the greatest time in history. We've got those magical cutting things for helping people who want two smaller pieces of something instead of one big one. Newton, they've had scissors for hundreds of years. Yes, but how long have they had grass that grows right on your lawn? Practically forever. How about rocks that are really hard and heavy to lift? About three and a half billion years, but the future's going to be great, and tomorrow we get to see why. How long have they had that big yellow thing in the sky that wakes you up every morning and makes it light out so you don't have to fall over stuff like this? This is the slowest lineup I've ever seen. All part of the future experience, son. In the future, the population will be bigger. Ergo, lineups will last much longer. They were visionaries. I am to afford the robot. Welcome to the future. The wait from this point is four hours and ten minutes. Hey, wait! Look, Sharon. In the future, all clothing will be made of comfy, shiny metal.
In the future, there will be no need to travel. Any view you desire will pass by your window in dynamic ultravision. <laughs> Pet food will be automatically served to your dog, cat, or newt in a scientifically balanced multi-species blend. Newt, you're safe! Safe? I'm being attacked by a snarling vicious bee! <laughs> In the future, the only thing you'll exercise will be your button-pushing finger. Hmm. Why is there a glass wall between us and that exhibit of badly dressed mannequins? <laughs> Newton, that's not an exhibit. That's the audience. In the future, all floors will be self-cleaning. Bending and scrubbing are a thing of the past. Was that kid with two hairs and a giant new? No bothersome rush hour in the future. Mom and Dad will jetpack to work. <laughs> it's old amnesia. It lets your nose forget what your body smells like, and it's on sale all this week. Always working. <laughs> this is amazing. Before this decade is out, man will barbecue on the moon, but it'll still take a gallon of lighter fluid to get the coal started. You can't cook steaks on the moon. And, and there's no glass in these helmets. They get their faces sucked out. Newton? You are so right. Right about what? The future. It makes the present look positively shabby. Look. We'll all have portable telephones. I don't believe this stuff. The car of the future is a 57 rust bucket with a propeller taped to the bumper, and the car stereo of the future is a record player glued to the dashboard. Oh, look at this ultra-futuristic low-impact sitting device. <gasps> it's a chair. We have those at our house. <laughs> I, I don't like this place. We gotta find my parents. Nonsense. In the future, we won't need old-fangled parents. Everyone will be raised by Mom 7.0. What? It has 16 megabytes of Niagram and 72 hours of familiar phrases. Turn that music down. How's that thing gonna tuck me in at night and feed me? No feeding necessary. In the future, a complete meal will be packed inside this yummy candy. <laughs> You will be able to see the same shows we're now watching for free for $19.95 a month on cable. Oh, this is so much fun. I don't want to return to the past, Ned. That's not the past. That's the present. This is the past, which they thought in the past was the future, which would be the present, but it isn't. If you can decipher this, send three box tops to Confuse Newt, Animationville's Cartoon Land. Welcome to the pet store of the future. <laughs> I love the smell of dog food in the morning. Oh. Of course, I also love the smell of a half-dead crow in a puddle. So what do I know? Okay, where's all the smart, wonderful pets of tomorrow, huh? In the future, all pets will be robots programmed to meet their owner's needs. They'll still eat and tear up furniture to keep them expensive, but with a minimum of real pet inconvenience. Inconvenience? Is it inconvenient to love your owner faithfully? Is it inconvenient to lie on his face when he's sleeping and fill his little mouth with hair and scales? Appetizer? How can you have a future with no pets? 
You need the pets for the love and the companioning and the thing and the stuff and the whatchamacallit and the <laughs> Run away! Run away! Stay away from the future! It's a trap! It's a horrible, cold, pet-free place! And there's chrome everywhere! And Bill Gates! I have seen the future, and I pretty well own it. <laughs> Are you a robot? No! I'm a devoted pet! Flesh and bone and warm? Well, except for being cold-blooded and skin that gets real itchy once a year and peels off underneath. It's all kind of clammy and... Well, I'm digressing here, but my point is... <laughs> Big blue things will grab you in a mall and yell a bunch of silly loud stuff, then shrink. Mom, Dad, let's go home. What you talking about? We just spent four hours in line to get inside. Let's buy a soda. Ah, the future. It's just like I remembered it. I know the 25th is the silver, the 50th is the gold. It used to be so easy. Wood, tin, china. Then they made up all those new ones. The discount awning paint anniversary. The jewelry made of recycled trash anniversary. Here it is. The 12th is the complimentary buffet anniversary. Ooh, well then, we've got a choice. We can either go to Jiffy Wash and get a wax job and a free sandwich. Or we could go on an all-you-can-eat South Seas cruise. Pinocchio, you have saved me from the jaws of Monstro, the suitcase. Return in the depths of Romance, you come. And I want my boat and my fishing rod back. So what are we doing? Is it as much fun as this? Ooh, I'm dizzy, and I got a pull through me. How is this children's entertainment? Don't tell me. You're making the world's largest and least tasty tea bag. Oh, sugar, Philip. It still tastes like hotel towels and tummy medicine. It's my parents' anniversary. We're all going on a cruise. Tom Cruise? Oh, he was great in the color of Jerry Maguire. No, a sea cruise. No pets allowed. Quite right. Who needs them? Running under your feet, coughing up fur balls in your deck chair. You're a pet, Nuki. I'm sorry. You can't come. Disappointed. Mrs. Pluck will come by to feed you every day. Regular food, not Zippo. Oh, it's curtains for me. <laughs> Don't be such a baby. I'll only be gone a week. Regular food and your bowl. You're being overly dramatic. No, I'm not. There's a children's deck with hot and cold swimming pools, fire slides, candy machines, a go-kart track, cool. a seagull pet mark nurse. Frankly, if this is a romantic cruise, <laughs> you'll never have to see the little muffin. Eric, we're paying for the porter. Give him your bags. These are brand new, and I wouldn't want anything to... Ah! I'm going to 
buy a marlin gaff to get your father out. You stay here with the luggage. Eric, try to keep the tip money dry. Ah, care to buy a parrot, little boy? Mighty good company he is, too, or my name aren't be Slobbering Jim. Your name isn't Slobbering Jim, it's Newton. There you be thinking of that scurvy note you got at home there. So toffy, land the hoy, every jockey you walk the plank, shiver me matey. You were supposed to stay home. What if my parents see you? On a boat this size? I will never run into them. How is it bags under your eyes, sir? Here we are. You have your own room, Ned. See you on board. What luxury! And this super deluxe gangplank is real easy to walk up. Ah, uh. oh, the amenities, the refinement. I'm awed by this opulent sumptuousness. It doesn't look like the brochure. I'd better go look for my parents' room. What's the meaning of this? Oh, goody, you're here. Oh, we, we want this room spiffed up. We need fresh sheets, more fruit, and all that salt sea air smell has got to go. And get rid of all these captain's outfits we found in the closet. Ah, uh, Newton. Mm -mm. We're going out to luxuriate on the deck whilst the crew dabs the dew from our bodies with big, fluffy towels. <laughs> They've duplicated the look of this crummy fishing boat on board this luxury liner <laughs> and floated it in the biggest index pool I've ever seen. I say, it looks a rather long road to the all you can eat buffet. No, we're on the wrong boat. Stowaways, eh? Nobody freeloads on my boat. Hope you can swim, laughing boy. Gee, little fella, you haven't eaten what I gave you yesterday. I, I hope drinking all that stone water and arbor garbage hasn't given me a cold. It's that darn crow again. Shoot! Well, Ned's up and out already. He bust me having a grand old time. My parents are on a luxury cruise with go-karts and free food, but ooh, no, not me. I'm scrubbing the fish smell out of the Pequod in return for not being thrown overboard. Pequod, the boat in Moby Dick. Smarter than he looks, ain't he? <gasps> Able Demon Newton reporting, sir. Aye, 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 and blow the man down. I swap the fishing nets and cast the four deck overboard. You what? <laughs> Now you play this concertina and cute little whistle, and I'll dance Mary Hornpipe. Is this nautical or what? Would this be a good time to ask for our rations to be increased from nothing to all you can eat? It's a break for you two jokers. Uh oh, you hear that, Ned? He called you two jokers. Wow. The world's only boxing pianist, Oscar de la Peterson. Eric, request our song. Hi, you know Malaguena? I don't think he knows it. A man, Linda, makes him gnarly and crusty. Will you still marry me after all these yar? I couldn't spend the rest of my yar waiting for a wayward mariner. I wedded Rusty McCabe. Yeah! I'll never see her again. I'll spend my life in the brig. And it's all my fault. <laughs> What do you mean, your fault? I let you down the wrong gangplank. Yeah, but I should have locked you in the closet in chains and sealed it up with bricks. 
True, but I forgive you. And to prove it, I'm getting us out of here. I fear not, Ned Diego. We will follow the steel of my sword to mutiny, for I am. Hey, little fella, hey there. Oh, no, he's cold and rubbery. Stanley, get to the Flemkins right away. I need you to perform CPR. No, not the Canadian Pacific Railway. That was so brave how you dropped that sword and tried to hide. It got us out of the brig. We're in a lifeboat in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, I hope everyone else is okay. It sure is sinking slowly. It's not sinking. We were thrown overboard with no food. Are you sure about this? We killed his salamander, Stanley. Replacing it's the least we can do. I only hope to gosh he can't tell. Don't worry, I'm a new. I can navigate by the constellation. <gasps> There's Gluteus Maximus. You rest. I'll row us to your parents' boat. I don't know where I'd be without you, Newton. Wait a minute. I'd be on board that cruise ship eating pineapple slices and swimming in three different heated pools. Why is it so cold? Don't worry, buddy. I followed the North Star all night. This is ice. You followed it to the North Pole. No, there's an explanation for it. No, but we're going to freeze to death in the Arctic. I, I think I hear a polar bear. Maybe I could eat some ice. There you are. Cruise going okay? Uh.